Hello everybody, so today we're going to be doing the math sat test today, so let's start. So as you can see right here, you have to write your first name, your middle name, last name, date of birth, school name, and the number. So let's move on. So right here, these are the rules. We're not allowed to use a calculator for any of these questions. We will have 30 minutes to complete the test and we have to answer, we have to put our answer in this answer box. And for some questions, we will get two marks, which are long, like long division questions and long multiplication ones. And the rest of the questions, we will get one mark for each. So let's start. So right here, this is a very simple question, which is 6,000 plus 90, which is very easy. It's going to be 6,090, which is very simple. The first question, it was an addition question. And next, this is another addition question. So I'm going to write it down and do it. There we go. 8,275 plus 882. Now, so 5 plus 2 is 7 and 8 plus 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so i add a 1 up there the 5 will come down here this will become a 3 and this will be an 8 that will drop down and we have to also add the comma so 8357 and our comma there <clears throat> so now for this question this is also very simple this will be right here 20 Next, so right here, question number four. So for this question, what we have to do is we are gonna simply minus first because for this question, we'll have to find out what we will add into five to give this answer. So we'll subtract, we'll do the opposite. So this one we'll give to our neighbor, we'll minus this, so this will become a three, this will be an 11. So now 11 minus five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is our answer, we'll write that. And the 3 will be here, and 336. 136 is our answer. Next, this is a multiplication question. So I'm going to write it down and do it. Multiply by 9. 41 multiplied by 9, which is, so first of all, the this will be a 9, because anything multiplied by 1 is 9. And then 9 fours are 36. So there we go. So we'll write our answer in this box. Next, for this one, this one is also very simple. If we have to add in points, so first of all, we'll write the first number, which is um, 5.87. So we'll write that. Seven. And right here, we'll add a zero. And I will write the next number. One there and there. Now I'll add this. Pretty simple. And there was nothing over here, so we added a zero. So this will be a three. So that was seven, eight, nine. This will also be a nine point and this will be an eight so eight point nine nine three done next so this is a division question let's go so we're gonna write three in here we'll, three, we'll write that and 180 will be in there so for this i'm gonna write the skip counting so three ones are three three twos are six um three threes are nine three um three fours are 12 and three fives are 15 and next is 18 so let's see one two three four five six so six are 18 minus that up zero zero and the zero will be carried so our answer is 60 and another division question pretty simple so we'll write 12 in there and this will be 120 right there and for this question, we'll put a 1 because we're going to add 12, minus that up, 0, 0, and 0 will be up there. So it's 10. Simple. And anything multiplied by 0 is 0. So that was a super simple question. Didn't have to do anything. And this is another division question. Let's do that. 7 in there. And 91. Right here. So eventually, I'm going to write skip counting. 7, 14, 21, and 28. Done. So eventually we'll have to use seven because yeah. So we'll add a one there, we'll minus that. So nine minus seven is two. 21 comes on three, so we'll write that. 13 is our answer. 
And uh, next, for this question, it is simple. Minus, we'll just subtract this. Minus 65, there. So now, 7 minus um, 5 is obviously 2, and 8 minus 6 is 2, 2. So it's going to be 22 is our answer now. And now for this question, what we're going to do is we're simply just going to minus it out. So we're going to do 60, um, 602 minus 594. So eventually this will borrow. Well, this will be a 5, this will be cross, this will be a 9, and this will be a 12. So 12 minus 4 is eventually 8. One second. There we go. 8. And now for this, it will be a 0, and this one will also be a 0. So 8 is our answer. Pretty simple. Next. Next is another division question. So there will be an 11. It will be 1,000. Um, 1,210, comma, and now we'll use 1 because we're going to put 11, minus that out, that'll be 0, and this will be a 1 coming here, and we'll drop down the other one, so we'll add 1 again, and this will be a 0, and then right here, this 0 right here that's here, we'll carry it, and our answer, 110. And now for this question. For this question, it is very simple because the point will just move. Anything multiplied by 10 with the point will just move the point. So it will be um, 253.4. Yeah, the point has moved one step. And so this is bod mass. So this is a bod mass question. So first of all, we'll solve the brackets. Then we'll divide. So first let's solve the bracket. 30 minus 24. And we'll do well minus this. This will be a 2, and this will become a 10. So 10 minus 4 is 6, and this will be a 0. So that's 6, and, and the answer will be 10. Pretty simple. Next. So this is also a simple question. So as you can see, this is a power, which eventually it means that we'll multiply 3. It's going to be 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. Pretty simple. So first, 3 times 3 is 9. 9 multiplied by 3. So, which is 27. So, our answer is 27. And for this question, we don't have to do anything because all we have to do is write the number and then we'll add the three zeros there. So, if there's anything, we'll just add three zeros with it. And if there is, if it was 10, we'll have one zero. And if it was another, if it was 100, then we'll have two zeros. And now, this question. So first we'll just write 20, and also this percentage this percentage sign means 100, so I'll put 100 down there, and we'll write the 3,000, 2. Now we're done, and now we'll write a 1 right here down, because if there's nothing, there's a 1 there. So now I'm going to cross out these two zeros there. And now I'm simply just going to multiply it, so it's going to be 30 multiplied by 20. So the, that anything multiplied by 0 is 0. Zero, and then this will be a zero right here and this will be eventually next next we'll do two times that is zero and then two four six six so then we'll plus it up and our answer is six hundred six zero zero more six hundred done next and then for this question we'll simply just subtract which is very simple let me show you how to do this so we'll just write seven then we'll add a point right here we'll add zero and zero and then we'll write the other number, 0.25 there. And now we'll just simply subtract it. So we'll, this one will carry from their neighbors. This will eventually be a 6. This will be a 9. And this will become a 10. So this will be a 5. And now 9 minus 2 is simply 7. Point. And now 6 minus 2 is 4. So 4.75 is our answer. Oops, there you go. Now, this is um, a division question, which is super simple. You don't have to do anything. It will be just 0, um, 0. 0.009 because there was two zeros of the 100, so we'll add those. Next, for this question, for this question is also the same question like this one right here from above. Now we'll do this. So we'll just add up. We'll make this a 0, and this will be 1.9 minus so now this will borrow this will be an 8 this will become a 10 so now 10 minus 9 is obviously 1 so then there will be a point that will come down here and then 8 minus 1 is 7 so 7.1 7.1 there 
now this one so for this question what you gotta do is all you need to do is you need to make this number right here we have to change this so we'll do um we'll write it down and this one that's here we'll multiply by seven so that's seven and then we'll plus it up seven plus three which is seven eight nine ten ten is our answer so we'll write ten and the seven will be down there and we'll just subtract it normally how we do it and there so the denominator will be the same it will be seven obviously and then ten minus four is six so six by seven is our answer next for this question we'll get two marks because this is um a long multiplication one so first seven times six we'll write it down the skip counting seven fourteen twenty one twenty eight and 35, 42, 49, and then we'll write 56. There. Now, we'll just write this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There. So, first of all, seven, six are 42. Four will be up there, two will be down here, and then seven threes are 21. Then we'll eventually add four inside, so that'll be 20, um, 25. So we'll add a two up there, this will be a five down here, and then um, next is seven times eight, so that is 49. So then, oh no, never mind, it's 56. 56, 57, 58. So write that. There will be a zero down here, and then next is two. So um, we can just do six, uh, six twos are, which is eventually twelve. So we'll write um, a two here. A uh, one will be up there. So I'm just gonna erase this right here, and I'm gonna write the one now because I want to get confused. So one, our one is right there. And now two threes are six, and then we'll write seven because we'll add that, and then. Uh, 2 times 8 is 16. There. And now we'll add it up. So 2, 7, so 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1 up there, 5 here. And 6, 6 are 12. And this will be a 2. So this is our answer. 2, 2, 5, 7, 2. There. Next question. And for this question, now what we're gonna do in this question is we're gonna use the butterfly method. So first I'm gonna write it down right here. Three, five, four. And now, so first what we will do is we'll do it like this. This is butterfly method. So five times three is 15. And then um, four times one is four. And then next what we'll do is we'll, we'll do five multiply by four. So which is 5, 10, 15, 20. So it will be 20 by 4, the first one. Oops, wait, there we go. And the next one will be 15 by four, 20. So we made the denominator the same, and now we'll just add it in. So the denominator will be same, and then eventually if you add that, that will be 19. So it is 19 by 20, our answer. Next, one second. Okay, that was a water break. Now let's continue. Okay, so now for this question, this is a division question. So what we're going to do is we're going to write the skip counting of 37, which I like to do it in this method. So uh, first of all, 2 times 7 is 14. Go up there, and this is obviously 6, so now that will be 7 because there was 1 up there. Let's continue to see if we get um, another number, if it's bigger or small. So now there we go so three times so eventually seven threes are 21 and three times three is so nine so nine ten eleven there you go so now as you can see we'll use um we'll use 74 so this will be a two up here i'll do 74 right here and we'll minus that <coughs> So now 8 minus 4 is simply 4, obviously, and then that will be a 1. 14. So now what we'll have to do is the 8 will come down here. So now we have to continue with the counting. So 3 times 
four now. 37 times four. So first of all, we'll do um, four times seven is 28. We'll put a two up there. And next is four times three is 12. So that'll be a 14 now. There. Yes, we got it. So that was on four. So all right, four up there. We'll just write this. And this will be an X. So our answer is 24. Done. Now, for this question. So for this question, this is mixed fraction. So let's start. So first, I'm just going to write it down right over here by five. And so first what we'll do is we will add these right here. So first that is a three, so this is three right there. And next what we're gonna do is we are simply going to m multiply. As you can see, so five, um, in five skip counting, 10 comes. So we'll do 10 at the bottom. The denominator will be a 10. And this will simply be a two. And the next will be Wait. So this will obviously be a one. And now we're gonna add it. So this will be a 10, the same denominator, and this will be two plus that is three. So it's gonna be this. Oops, nope, not 30. There you go. And by 10, there, that's our answer. Next. So this one we'll do, it, it's very easy. So what we have to do is 35, we, this question came, and as I said, the percentage sign is 100 down there. And now we're gonna write 320, um, and we'll add one up right there. Cross out this zero and this zero, and now we'll multiply. 35 multiply by 32. So this is gonna be, 10, 0, and next we're going to do 2 times um, 3 is obviously 6. So next it'll be a 7, that'll be a 0 down there, and then 5, 10, 15. So the 1 will go up here, 5 will be here, and 3 times 3 is 9. So we'll add a 10 because that was up there. So plus it up, this will be a 0, there'll be um, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and this will simply be a one here and the one. So this will, will simply cut out our zero because with this one right here with the 100. So this will be one, one, two, there. Next question. So now for this question, we'll also use the butterfly method. So we'll just gonna write this like before how we did, one by four. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply multiply it by one, which is a nine, and then um, eight times four. So that is simply 36, 32. So now we're done with that. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do nine times four. So which is 36. We'll write that, that's our denominator. There'll be 32 there. And then there'll be this one will be this nine and we'll write 36 down here and now we have to subtract so the denominator will be same and now we're just gonna subtract this like this i like to write it and do it this will be carrying this will be a two and this will become a 12 so 12 minus nine six seven um so the answer is three and now we'll simply just add the two. So our answer is 23 by 36. 23 by 36, done. Next, now for this question, we're almost done. So 51 by 100, we'll just write that. And next we'll write our 900. This is the same question like last time, which is very simple. So I'll just cross out both of those zeros and now we'll do 51 multiply by nine. So eventually nine ones are nine and nine times I'm pretty sure is 45. Done. So this is our answer. This was a very simple one. That one's very nice. Okay, now for this question. So two times eight is simply um, 16. And now two times six is 12. So we'll make that 13. And now two, four, six, eight, eight, nine. And then that'll be a six. There's zero down here. And now I'm just gonna hmm, 
6 1 the 6, 6 2 the 12, 6 3 the 18, um, 6 4 the 24, and then 6 5 the 30, 6 6 the 36, 6, um, 6 7 the 42, and then 6 8 the 48. So we'll write um, 48. We'll put an 8 here. The 4 will be right here. And then next we'll do 6 6 the 36, 36. 37, 38, 39, 40. So the 4 will be here, 0. And 6, 4s are 24, 24, 28 now. 2 there, 8 here. And then 6, 3s are 18, 18, 19, 20. And now we'll add it all up. So this will be a 6, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11, so we'll add that there. <laughs> one here this will become eventually 10 so that will simply just be a 10 so we'll add that this will become 7 um so 7 7 plus 8 um 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 1 5 15 so that will be one down here and then this will be a 2 2 1 5 0 1 6 Okay, we also have to add our comma there. Now, we're very close to finishing. So now, for this question, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and write this. So first, I'll write our 2. One second. There. So 2 by 3. And now we'll do divided by 3 by 1 because there's nothing. So we'll add a 1. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to do it... Um, like this so i'm gonna do um 23 2 3 multiply by 1 by 3 there you go so now as you can see so first the denominator will be the same no actually we'll do this we'll multiply it so this will be a 9 actually so and then 2 times that is 2 so it's 2 by 9 2 by 9 is our answer there let's move on so right here for this question um, we're first going to go ahead and fix this. So first we're going to do it the same method that I taught. So right here we're going to do 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. And 4 plus um, 1 is 5. It's going to be 5 by 2. Oops, one second. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down 3 by 4. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the butterfly method. So first, um, 2 times 3 is 6, and then 4 times 5 is 20. And we'll multiply the large denominator. So this will eventually be 20 down here too. There. So 20, and this will be a 20 over here too. And over here we're going to minus, we're going to subtract. So there will be a 6 here, there will be a 20, which will be, so um, 20 minus 6 is simply 14 14 and the 20 will be the same oh wait no this won't be a 20 this will be an 8 wait so we're just gonna erase the zeros so this will be an 8 so there um So we'll do 2 multiply by 7, which is 14. So it's 14 by 8. No, 7 by 4. Okay. So now, next. So for this question, it's 36. And the percentage will be 0, 0. And now we'll write 45, 0, 1 down here. This will be crossed, the 0. Now we'll write, multiply it. 36 and now we'll multiply it there you go so now um, 6 times 5 is 30 and 6 times 4 is um, 24 24 25 26 27 0 and then 5 10 15 one there 5 here and then 3 fours are simply mm, 12 so that was a 1 right there, so this will be um, 13. So we'll plus it up, and um, there will be a 0, and then 7, 8, 9, 10, 
11, 12. So there'll be a 2, this will be a 1, so that'll become 3. 3 plus that is 6, and this will be 2. So our answer is this. Another comma. And mm, no, we did a little wrong. One second. Hmm. So this will simply be. Oh wait, we have to. Of course, we have to um, take away the zero that we got before. So this will be a zero, and that will be eventually twelve to here, and that would be a six, and um, this will be two. Mm -mm. Wait, let's redo this. Second. <laughs> okay. So first of all, we will simply 45 multiply by 36. So um, six times five is 30. Six times four is 45. Um, so three will be here. And then we'll simply do, so six, let's just write it. Six ones are six, six threes are 12, six threes are 18, and six fours are 24. 24, 25, 26, 27, zero. And that is five, 10, 15, one over there, five here. And then three times four is hmm, four, eight, 12, 12, and then Oh no, it's actually 13. Now we'll add that. Let's add it right here. So zero here. And that is seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, and two. And this will become a six. And this will be a one. There. And now we'll cross out this zero with this zero. So this is our answer. Now. For this question, so this will be a one right here. We'll add a three, and this will be a four. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply. This will be a four, and four plus three, um, four, five, six, seven. So seven will be there. Four will be down here. And now what we're gonna do is we're simply gonna do we're gonna add a ten. This will be a one right here. And now we're gonna simply just multiply it. So this will be right here. This four. This will be a 70, and this will be a four. So 70. Oh, and we also have to divide real quick. So we'll divide this, four and 70. So, and we'll add a four, so we'll put one and four, and now we will simply minus. So seven minus four is three, 30. So now we're simply just gonna, it'll be a seven. And um, now what we're gonna do is 28, we'll add, there you go, minus. And this will be, um, we'll do, that will be, we'll give this, so this will be a two, this will become a 10. So 10 minus eight is simply two. And this will be a zero. So now we're gonna put a point and we're gonna get this a zero, and I gotta put a zero here. So, and now 20 comes on five. So five is our 20, minus that out, cross. So our answer is 17.5. Um, now, next. So now we're gonna be on our last page. So now for this question, we'll do seven by six. And it's simply going to be um, multiply. We'll do that. And it's going to be 5, 14, there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply divide it. So we're going to simply go, so we're going to put that, oops, no, there. So the 6 will be out here. And this will be um, this there. So now, um, now, Eventually, if you do that, 45, 54 simply comes on 9. Now this will be a 0, 0. And now that 0 will be carried, so our answer is 90. Well, now, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply it by 5. 
So 90 multiplied by 5. So that will be a 0. And then 5 times 9 is 45. So now this is our answer. And now we'll write it down. Right there. 40, 450. Now, this is our last question. So let's start with this one. So first we're gonna write down the table. So as you can see, we will take um, we'll take these three numbers because we cannot get 80. So we'll simply use that. And now we're gonna write down the tables. So 83 multiplied by two. So that is, I'm gonna write down the skip counting. So eight and Eventually, those are not, okay, so twos are 16, um, six. and now we're gonna do it. Oops, it's six, never mind, what am I doing? Okay, now, so now two eights are 16. There, so now that's what we got. Now we have to continue. And three times three. So three threes are nine, and eight threes are are 24 so that's what we got we still need to continue i'll do it right here maybe three times four so four times three is 12 and next um eight times four mm, eight times four is 32 33 actually so 33 and then 34 we'll add that Oh, because we have to add that, so that'll be 33. And now, we'll have to continue. So it's going to be 83 multiplied by 5. 5, 10, 15. 15, 1 there, 5 here. And it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So there's 40, and now we'll add that, so it'll be 41. There. And that's what we got, now we have to continue. Times that. And, and now we're gonna do it simply. There we go, we'll multiply that. And, and now I'm gonna go ahead and do it by six. So six threes are six minus six, 12, 18. So it's gonna be 18, there are eight. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do eight times six. So six one to six, six to the 12, six threes are 18, six fours are 24. And then six one to six, six to the 12, six threes are 18, six fours are 24, six fives are 30, six six are 36, six sevens are 42. And then, Forty dupes. There we go. Now what I'm going to do, we have to do it one more time. There we go. Four, five, six, seven. There. Now one more time we'll have to do it eight. So and next is gonna be fifty no forty eight. There. Now we're gonna do that. And now forty eight we'll add one, so it'll be forty nine. There. Still have to continue with this. Multiply by next we'll do it by seven. So seven times three is mm, so seven ones are seven, seven twos are fourteen, twenty-one it is, so we'll write that. And eight sevens are hmm, eight sevens are one second, let me think. Mm, sevens are Let's write it real quick. Hmm. Eight. So eventually it is 56, 56, 57, 58. Okay, we still have to do it more. Maybe three times eight. And that is. Hmm. That is 24. <clears throat> 8 times 8 is hmm, hmm, um, 64. 64 and then 65, 66. 
Okay, we still have to do more. <laughs> we still have to multiply a few more times. So it'll be nine. Multiply by that. And so nine times three is that was twenty-seven. Two and seven. And now nine times eight is nine times eight is seventy-two. So then it will be seventy-four because we have to add that. Now I think well, this is the last time we'll be uh, multiplying now. So yeah, by 10. So now that will be a zero. This will also be a zero, a zero, and that'll be a three, and that'll be an eight. And now I'm eventually add that, and that'll be 830. There you go, we got that, and that is bigger. So we'll simply use the nine. So we'll write nine right here. And one second, let me just write that there. And now we're simply going to write, it was 747. Now we'll minus, we'll cross this out. This will become a seven, this will become a nine, this will become a 15. So 15 minus seven, that is eight. So we're gonna write that. And next, so this is a nine, so now I minus that is five. And this will be a zero, 58. And now we're simply just gonna, what we're gonna do, okay, yeah. So we're gonna add this one, will come down. And let's see when it came. It came on seven. Yes, so we'll add a seven here. 581, minus that out and cross. So our answer is 97. So that is all, bye.